What's up everybody? I am Ragnamus and this is my YouTube channel. Also, don't be a stranger. Now, you got a bacon mix create, right? And you got a dual PC setup. Now this is what this is for. This is for helping you set up for a dual PC setup. Um, and we're going to give you the neat little tricks and what you need to get it done. Obviously, anything that's extra and links will be down below. So go ahead and check them out for what you need. Let's get started. Now, obviously, you are thinking about buying a Beacon Mix Create or you already have one. Comes in this great box. Really cool. Little directions and stuff and everything like that packed in there neat. Mine's already on my desk and set up and ready to go. Here's a picture of it. Now, it is a great device. I am loving it so much and it's literally given me everything that I needed for my stream. My issue was with my stream was that I have an Elgato HD60 Pro and I have it on my stream PC and I would then play playing and I have it hooked up and you can have software that you can use from Elgato to transfer your sound from to the game and still be able to hear and still be able to, have to send it to the stream. But the issue was with me was I was not able to hear my sound alerts from my stream PC without using something like Banana or some other software like that. I didn't want to add more software. You know, I wanted to have something that was convenient, nice, simple. And that's where the Beacon Mix Create came in. Oh, I've been loving it so much. So how do you set it up? Well, you get the Beacon Mix Create. And then you need to order a few parts to add with it that will obviously make it a little bit better. So let's go over those. All right, so first things first, you're obviously going to need a 3.5 millimeter audio cable. You're gonna need two of those. Reason for that is you need to take one of these and plug it in from the out of your gaming PC in the in for your streaming PC. And then vice versa, you're going to then take this same cord and plug it from the out of your stream into your in on your gaming PC. Now you're gonna need this, two of these, and you're also gonna need two ground loop noise isolators, two of them, and one on each of those connections. doesn't matter where, if it's in, it's just got to be in between both those connections that I was talking about just a little bit ago. Um, this will help with uh, crackling noise and everything like that and make it sound crisp and good and make sure that all the audio transfers over perfectly. Easy. Okay, so you got everything. You got your Beacon Mix Create. You got those cables we talked about. What you're going to do first is obviously hook up your Beacon Mix Create to your gaming PC, not your stream, but your gaming. So if you look here, I got the software up and running. I got my mic here and I got my blue snowball, which is what I talk to when I'm talking to friends on Discord and game on my gaming PC. My shirt is for my stream, which you guys hear. Then I have over here in the chat section, I have Discord. Now how I set this up is in my Discord, I have it selected. We'll go over that in a little bit. Then we have the hardware, which is the line in. This is what's coming in from your stream PC into your gaming PC, okay? Obviously, if I open up a game, it would show up here in system. And you can you can customize this. You can hook up a music thing and just set it for the music being here. I'm not that fancy, but you can. You can do it. If you have like Pandora or whatever, and you can pop it up and set it to where it just shows up in this tab. And then you can obviously customize and, you know, dial it up, dial it down and all that stuff just with a twist of the knob. It's really nice, obviously. And then muting it. So nice. So as you can see below as well, we have the personal mix. You got the audience mix and then the voice chat mic. Now, obviously for the mic, you want to have just the mic. Mute these two. It's just going to cause a weirdness. Obviously, um, if you wanted to use that mic as well and stream it over that would work um the reason why i don't do that is because my sure i currently use software on my streaming and i have it all set up on my stream pc and it was just easy easy for me to use two mics you can use one mic and just transfer it over to your audience which is your stream pc so when we talk about audio we talk about the audience mix it is stream pc personal your pc okay easy enough right then when you are now chat, so Discord, right? I'm going to have both of these, so it's personal and audience, so audience can hear and I will hear, okay? Then for my hardware, which is my game, 
sorry, oh, excuse me, which is my stream PC. I just want to hear it. I don't want it echoing back and then you guys hearing it. It's just a loop, right? So you mute both these system. This is the gaming sound. So that's obviously you want to go to both, you know, a headset and that. And then obviously so on and so forth. So you get the gist. Very simple setup. Very easy. Not too hard. Obviously my headset that I have choice is right here. And then I have my audience mix, which is coming out to you guys. Very simple, right? Very, very simple. Now to get this all set up and make it work, let's get into that. So you're going to want to go over to your sound and make sure you go over to your output device as your beacon mix create. Make sure it says that. And then input device is your beacon mix create voice chat mic. All you need to do is just make sure that these are selected as such. Okay. Go on to the next. Okay, now we're in Discord. Okay, now the same thing. Now you're getting a gist of how the settings have to work. Everything, you have to set everything that you want to go and go to that, the Beacon Mix Create. So obviously, again, with my voice input device, voice chat mic, right? And then output is chat. So there'll be a drop down like this, and you can see all of the extra, you have the auxiliary, you got all the extra ones you want to hit. For me, I want to set it as chat because that's when I'm chatting with my friends in Discord. So obviously, like you've seen, there's all the other options that you can choose that are in your Beacon Mix and all the things you have set up. Very, very simple. And obviously, after you get that, it's perfect. You're good, ready to go. And there you have it. Very easy way. You set up your Beacon Mix Create, and it's going to help your stream so much or just your YouTube videos, whatever it may be. I hope this video has helped you out a lot, and I hope you guys send a like, comment, or anything you'd like to do. Make sure to subscribe for any other additional content, and you guys have a good day.